All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Tuesday. Big day today, a lot of stuff going on. We got Traders Talk, we got Tom Sosnoff, we got uh, Open House, we got, we got trading going on, we got a good little bounce on F-Cell. We also got great news from Tesla. They finally welcomed them to the S&P 500. So a lot of good stuff going down. And then top it off, we do have a down market. We're down about 260 points. So good to see you all, Jose, Dennis, Grant, Phil, everybody. Brian, Cyber Traders, everybody here on YouTube and Facebook Live, welcome. Um, so we got a packed day today. Today is hump day. So Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are usually the best days to trade. Fortunately, not that much going on this morning, though. My list is not the greatest, but we do, are doing pretty decent on some swing trades. And FSL has obviously been one of them. You could see over here on the long-term chart, um, about a couple of days, stock was $2. Stock is already up about 100%. Um, we'll talk a little bit about that. We'll also talk a little bit about what's going on with the drug stocks. Uh, we'll also talk about what's going on with um, what's going on with CVS and and Walgreens and all these other. I mean, they're getting. I, I don't know what happened, but they're not doing too well. They're not really not doing too well. So we're gonna check those out too in a little bit. But before we do that, everybody, um, let's go over and just talk about what happened yesterday. A couple of stocks had some decent moves. Want to touch upon that, and then we'll go right into it. Uh, first of all, we had the Uber trade. So Uber has been doing phenomenal lately. You can see here that it's just been on a great tear. Stock um, finally broke out of its shell. Stock also, if you notice here, has a very, very uh, broke all-time highs on the stock. So that is something that is very, very good for Uber. But, you know, um, so on a swing trade, Uber and Lyft obviously had finally broke out of its shell. It all came out regarding about the news. A lot had to do with what happened in California on that section. Was it section 230 or something like that that they passed? Um, they, I guess they rejected the hell out of it. And look, the stock did great because of it. Finally, Uber's been dealing with a, a lot of headaches for a long time. The same thing with Lyft. And I know we love our Uber drivers and our Lyft drivers. And um, I mean, they've been the best thing since sliced bread after getting rid of taxi cabs. I mean, I feel bad. The, the New York City taxi cabs are getting crushed, literally getting hammered. But um, But you know what? Technology is what does it. So uh, entrepreneurship is what does it when it comes to Uber. So a couple other things I do want to touch upon. Uh, CBAT. Oops. CBAT also. Stock has been a great runner up for us. Stock last couple of days. It picked up from, from you know, from Friday till yesterday. till um, And it started back off right now. But $4 stock went to about 11 Um you could have bought it in the morning, chased it, did pretty well. That one did pretty well. WWR also yesterday was a really, really nice mover, but she wasn't an overnighter. Okay. But really, really nice pop there. Four dollars to about 620. That one did well. LI also did great too. Uh, a lot of profit taking going on in the last, you know, last day or so. But uh, but she did make a little bit of recovery. And you know what? She's going back on the watch list. All right. So what's going on this morning? So there were a couple of good stocks that look pretty decent. That moved. I want to start off with F-Cell. So F-Cell, um, you got to be careful. It's got nasty shakes. It really does. I have to be honest with you. I traded it several times yesterday. Um, I kind of, I actually lost money on F-Cell, but because I did a swing trade on it, because um, I liked it, I said, you know what? Let me just hold on to it. What really, really, uh, what I like about F cell, I want to point this out, is that if you go back, let's go back weekly. Okay, so F cell was a three hundred dollar stock, but that's not what I'm really concerned about. What I'm, what I'm looking at is this. Um, I can't really go back that much in this one. Yeah, so F cell is kind of filling, and you can't see it right here, but it's filling in a gap fill, and the gap fill uh, that that's where it's at right now. I probably got a better chart. Let me use a different platform. See right here, it's a gap fill, okay? So it looks like it's filling a gap fill right here. So it looks like 450 right around there is pretty much where it is. So There's a big gap fill right there, which really uh, really made me really attractive about the stock. So that's why I'm kind of looking at to it um, from yesterday to today. It, it, it got a little nasty this morning, but she, was, uh, she had a nice little pop. She went up to about 445. I jumped in around eight o'clock. I got shaken out. I bought it back again in pre-market. So I'm day trading. I'm swing trading at the same time. I don't mix my day tradings with my swing trading. But anyway, that one's doing pretty decent. And that is going on the A list. Remember, we got two lists, the A list and the B list. 
I might start a C list, okay? But it, it, if we don't have too many stocks, then I will start a C list. But anyway, F cell looks pretty good. Uh, no, let's go start off with the B list. CTIB, another stock right there, up 37%. But if you look over the intraday pre-market, she's kind of flat. L-O-D-E. But the reason why I bring up these stocks is because sometimes they really just come out of nowhere. Uh, L-O-D-E. Uh, stocks up 9%. 800,000 shares. She's kind of holding there pretty strong. Is just something I found. And I'm going to put all these other stocks on the B list. Um, CVS. I mean, these things are getting destroyed. I mean, when you look at the long-term chart right there, 55 to 73, the thing just took off. Literally. So I'm not really you know feel bad for the stock that is down literally about what seven dollars but you know stock had a hell of a, a hell of a run what else we had wba walgreens another one not as nice as cvs but that one took a little bit of a nice little hit there also but you could see it stock had a really nice run the last couple of, uh had a really nice run there just like cvs did now you know what's a shame like i really like this company I guess maybe because they advertise so much on TV, but good a good RX holdings. Wow, that thing went public and it just tanked. Really, I mean, I guess they I, I guess they finally came out with their earnings, um, uh, third quarter earnings. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. But that stock just got hammered, got crushed right there, down eighteen percent. They have great commercials. But <laughs> I guess that doesn't always work out, right? Expensive, uh, sp expensive investment. Let's go hop out on the A list. Let's say so. A lot of you guys trade this stock this morning, and you did really, really well. So this stock, obviously, right now, remember, we only need one. But this stock, a lot of you made a lot of money on the stock this morning. And if you hear around eight thirty, you got in right around, you know, a dollar ninety. You could have bought several thousand shares of the stock, depending on how advanced you are. Great spread, unbelievable volume, sixteen million shares. Look at all those iceberg orders on the right on the level three. So I know this stock, you obviously guys are killing it right now. I know a lot of you in it right now. You did pretty well. You got in, you got out. Uh, who, else made, who made money on it? Donnie made 11 cents. Good for you. Norman made six cents. Uh, Martiz made uh, made 19 cents. I mean, I'm just, I'm just looking how much just within the first 30 second, uh, three, four minutes in the chat that you guys did great. So good for you guys. Actually, let me share it with YouTube. Uh, because most people here probably think I'm, you know, making up stories here. But uh, let me bring this up here. Yeah, right here. You can see the chat right here. For everyone on YouTube that doesn't believe me, you know, sometimes I got to kind of share it. But you can see it right here. All these people just literally six cents, 19 cents. Uh, Donnie made 12 cents. Okay. Jose made six cents. Everybody did pretty well on that L L R L X. The uh, LXRX. Okay. So another couple of stocks on the watch list. BC. L I another one. I want to keep a close eye on this. That got crushed, crushed, crushed. Stock was look at this. The stock was a let $12. It opens up at four. Now, what why is the stock got crushed? Very simple. Pharmaceutical stocks, cyber traders. Remember what we always say. They don't come back. So be very, very careful of looking at these stocks, trying to get a dead cat found, especially only specifically on pharmaceutical stocks, but this stock got hammered. But I'm gonna put it on the watch list, all right? So we got plug on the watch list. That one also could be a nice short. We did really well with plug from 14 to 25. Stock obviously now took a little bit of a hit um, overnight, starting to trend down. Listen, stock had a big run. Don't think you're gonna say, oh, maybe it's a good buy. For the stock to have a good buy, it's gotta hold you for a long time and start, to, and start trending up. But from the way the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's doing that. And then obviously the F cell. Which obviously is doing these nasty, nasty, nasty shakes. Stock now starting to go back to its high of 440. So did a little bit of shake around nine, uh, 830 to 9. And now it's starting from 9 going up to 440. Now it's looking pretty decent. So that one's doing pretty well. I kind of like the F cell. Just, I'm just warning you guys. It is not... You could trade a lot of shares of the stock, and if you're going to do a lot of shares of it, you better get out. Do not hold this stock for shakes. This stock is nasty. Look at it. The stock literally just started at 8:30, went from 4:40 all the way down to four dollars. 
That's almost a 40 cent drop on a thousand shares. It's a $4,000 investment, 400 bucks. That's a lot. That's almost a hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay. So, you know, I know we had a great clash yesterday. Um, Josh basically started a whole new cycle, getting back from the beginning. And we talked about it, but it's very important that you guys understand that um, different stocks have different levels with different risk. And just because you trade more, you, you know, you, you always find out that if you're going to trade more, that's called gambling. Okay. You're gambling. And we're all going to make that mistake. And you're going to, and you, the most important part about the mistake, you got to learn from that mistake. All right. So um, don't get cocky. Don't get greedy. Don't think just because they're inexpensive that you, you can't um, buy, trade more shares of it. You could see it clear as day. Listen, I got shaken out a few times. I'm trading several thousand. Sometimes I'm trading five, 10,000 shares of it myself. And, you know, every penny is, you know, is $100, you know, stock drops 10 cents. I could lose a thousand bucks like that. You know what I mean? So just because it's cheap doesn't mean you could trade a lot of shares. It You treat this like you treat every other stock. All right. It goes by category and then by levels. All right. So, um, so, uh, yes, Daniel, I'm going to send out, um, basically everyone. Here's my email. Okay. Gonna put it in the chat room, which you pretty, pretty much all have it. So everybody, if you there's my email, send me if you want me to ask a question to Tom regarding about an options question or anything, um, please email me. You know, take that email if you have a question you want to ask him because you know the only way to ask him is there's going to be probably about five or six of his staff in there, and they're going to try to answer questions as he's talking. But I like to ask him questions. And I like to uh, I like to go through them, see what you guys come up with. So there's my email, and if you're on YouTube, you know here here's my email. Also, and by the way, right after that, I'm gonna do my own. I'm I'm going to be doing a uh, a presentation also regarding about you know how I kind of use my options towards day trading, or let's how you use day trading towards an option trade. So you don't want to miss that too. All right, guys. So listen, good luck, happy trading, be safe. We'll see you back here at 11 o'clock. We got traders talk today with Josh and then also we got uh, we got 2:30 afternoon meeting then we got Tom at 4:15 and then you got me at 5:15 so it's going to be a real packed day let's get into it the busiest and best time of the year to trade is now let's not make that mistake and let it go by cuz once christmas comes around things are going to start slowing down so let's try to make our money now so we can go buy some nice christmas presents for all of us good luck everyone happy trading be safe